Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope you have a great and wonderful day. Sorry for the no videos yesterday and the very small amount of videos today, which will probably most likely only be one. I am very, very sorry. Tomorrow will hopefully be a better day where I can actually post more videos. But um, without further ado, I'm going to give something a bit more of a dark comedy, a bit more of a dark reality that um, that is Canada. Because, you know, at, at the end of it all, it all has to be Canadian. And, um... I had a talk with some people about, you know, how Canada Healthcare is great and all, and all right, that, and I didn't really whoop back, snap back, because, um, you know, I didn't really want to get political. But, of course, they're all for killing yourself. So, um, that, there's that, and, um, suicide is always the answer. Well, we have this very messed up and dark video of, um, oh, I don't know, of, uh, somebody making dark comedy of them killing themselves. I mean, if you don't really believe me, uh, go and take a look. Okay to pass away today. It's okay to pass away. It's okay to pass away today. It's okay to pass away. If you're sick of taking medicine, you're never getting better And you're losing hair and weight and looking like a little skeleton If things don't improve, and if you're approved Take a little shot and then the pain is removed Yes, there's a lot more to that song But if you want to hear more of the, you know, terrible song and music of me not wanting to um, potentially hang myself from the rooftops, um, literally pun intended. Um, let, and let's see, just as, just as go, I'll put it in the description down below, you can enjoy the darkness of it all there, but there's, there's a reason behind this, alright? This is supposed to be comedy, this is supposed to be uh, satirical and all that stuff, which, okay, all great and good, but we're, we're gonna have this here. We're, we have something we're gonna watch together, my friends, that may, um, that may, um, hurt us, um, physically and mentally, um, and maybe not. Maybe, maybe this is stuff for you. Well, here we go, my friends. We, we will show you the way to the new life. Depression. 80% of those recover with treatment but there are 20% that continue to have unresolved symptoms. Have you exhausted all medications and therapies to combat the suffocating thoughts? Do you suffer from a terminal illness, severe mental health disorders, or just a chronic substandard of living? Has life taken away every precious thing you've ever known? Do you find yourself asking if you have ever been truly capable of happiness? If you feel it's time for it all to just stop, then it's time for Ascension. You can finally relax in a family-friendly environment without the burden or worry of who will clean up the mess you'll leave behind. Since 2033... See, the thing is, is that this is supposed to be a joke, right? This is supposed to be comedy. This is supposed to be something that is, uh, something that, uh, that is, you know, not real. Well, the problem that we have with this is, thanks to our great Canadian overlords, um, they would rather have you off yourself. And we're going to get into that, obviously, because I think we've done reports and stuff like this before, where Canada is not really the greatest place to where they want to actually help you. Um, they may want you, they may want to help you to ascend to a new life, which is, you know, not being alive, but they, uh, but they'll, they'll help you in other horrible and terrible ways. And like a lot of people are saying, it's really hard to differentiate between the actual reality and satire. And that's, that's the disturbing part here. So what we're going to have with this is that uh, we have all this greatness, right? We have this amazing stuff. Terrorist wellness, a dark romantic comedy. This is what it's supposed to be. So we're going to go to the terminal here. Uh, we can't change the past, but we can prevent the future. And it gives us all this stuff here. And then, you know, obviously this, um... <laughs> uh, uh, just, just, there's a better way. Like, obviously this is, this is, this is beyond fucked, right? And... 
we have this here. This is a Tell You Trauma Awareness, a dark romantic comedy. And th that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, terminal, terminal Wellness is a dark romantic comedy that is a satire of our completely messed up healthcare and political systems, and in particular how we treat the mentally ill in America, and how our future is looking at like an episode of South Park mixed with Black Mirror every day. I mean, they're not wrong, because a lot of the things that we're seeing today, like with the trans people, the, um, the suicide stuff, it's like, all this stuff is very messed up and bad, and I don't see how we can really deal with this. Uh... And this is just like, uh, uh, what, what it is. So, just to let everybody know, this is apparently, a supposedly, a dark romantic comedy. This is all supposed to be in great comedy fun. Um, and of course, the, these are the, uh, these are the, uh, the team. Which is, we have here, Sarah Martin and Derek Barris, writers and gaming producers. Uh, this guy is also like, you know, a comedy guy. So, you know, this is... This is all this stuff. Obviously, if we go if we go to their actual website here, uh, there's a review, and then there's also the Essential Terminal Wellness, which this is another thing here that's, you know, this is all the stuff that's going on here. So, uh, this is all, you know, small. And the, the, the uncle pass away thing is also gone. It's no longer here. So, uh, that, that's been deleted. So... What we have here now with this, to compound with this, that makes sense, is that Canada Medical Assistance and Dying Advocacy Group calls on government to expand eligibility to mature minors. Yeah, so this is all leading down to what this is talking about here and how the kids are dying, etc., etc. So, we're going to go down to, despite facing pushback, an Asia advocacy group in Canada's continuous efforts to have medical assistance and dying made, eligibility is expanded for children as young as 12. Since 2021, Dying with Dignity Canada, a national charity claiming to be dedicated to improving the quality of dying, has been lobbying the Canadian government to amend the existing age requirement of 18 years of age to extend to persons at least 12 years of age and capable of making decisions with respect to their health. The push came shortly after Bill C-7 received loyal, royal assent on March 17, 2021, resulting in the expansion of such as, uh, of such as, such as suicide in Canada to individuals whose death was not reasonably foreseeable, including those suffering from mental illness. The preliminary review of the bill included advanced requests for MAID, the state of palliative care, the protection of people living with disabilities, and eligibility and for MAID of mature minors. In a blog post summarizing the issues of a preliminary review, DWDC adds that it believes eligibility for MAID should extend to mature minors who have a deliberating or incurable medical diagnosis. DOWC acknowledges the Canadian society will likely expect a minimum age for mature minors in legislation, even though the emphasis at common law is on capacity and maturity and not at the chronological age, we suppose. For this reason, DOWC asked the Parliament amend the existing age requirement of 18 years of age to extend it to persons at least 12 years of age and capable of making decisions with respect to their health. As with adults, there should be discussion and capacity for these minors. In addition to experts sounding the alarm on the potential implications, expanding assisted suicide for minors as young as 12 may have... Oh, many were online quick to point out that this extension could be alerted the lines of other age of consent laws. While the DWC's calls to draw the age of eligibility for MAID have been available since 2021, the discussion was renewed this week after screenshots of DWC's website circulating on X, formerly Twitter, prompting outrage and confusion. General critical commentator Serena Patrick stressed that the advocacy groups pushing for children to assess May was a slippery slope. Yes, it is. And this is all dying with identity, uh, with Canada, and all this stuff. Um, and, and all this. So this is what Canada is doing, right? And let me put this in a little perspective here. The problem that we have with this, other than, you know, kids, you know, wanting to kill themselves and stuff like that. The, the problem that we have with all this is, is that, um... Kids to consent to death without the parent is insane. That means a kid can go to one of these places or what have you, um, ask to remove themselves, and without the parent's knowledge, and um, their kid is now dead for un unpronounced things or unknowns to them, and now Canada has now a person where they are, children are just allowed to kill them, uh, well, I mean, remove themselves from society and not let the parents know. I've got a feeling a lot of parents are going to sue the hell out of the government if they, if the kids, if this ends up happening. 
Because, again, you're violating parents' rights, which is I don't think exists in Canada anymore. And then you have kids that are, um, you have kids that are, or you maybe have people going for a, a tough life, personally, when we went through the trans uh, documentary, to where they may want to find a uh, reason to it at all, and they will. And they can with this ability. So it's disgusting that Canada is doing this stuff, and why this is, uh, so painfully close to truth and reality, even though it is satire, and Canada is doing this. So, this is just, this is just very dark stuff, guys. This is dark stuff, and uh, I can't believe Canada is like this. It, it, I don't know what's wrong with you people. Say as you may, you want to say and brag about how your Canadian government is good, it's great, and your healthcare, and all that. Yeah, but at least we, the U.S., does not support actually killing ourselves, or killing our children, or allowing our kids to remove themselves from, from society with certain laws. Because we won't go and do that. Because we can also talk about on how that's a thing, too. Alright guys, that's a, it's a that's it for video. Like, subscribe, share, and as always, take care.